Let's make smoked fish salad. A crowd, a paliza. In the vein of having little snacks for people if they should happen to drop by, buy some smoked trout. It's much more inexpensive than smoked salmon. And once you've bought it, it really, it's smoked. You don't even really need to refrigerate it, but if you put it in the fridge closed, it'll keep for months. I went out and I bought some smoked trout and I'm just gonna remove it from the package. This is the easiest thing you're ever gonna do in your life. If it has the skin on the back, just peel the skin off. Only certain brands have skin on the back. The other thing I would recommend is when you buy it, kind of touch the pack. It shouldn't be hard like a rock. So if you push it, it should be a little bit squishy. Gonna separate them. And then you're just gonna kind of score down here in long ribbons. And then you make little, and you just kind of, you kind of cut it up like this until it's not shredded mess, but a chunky sort of yum, yummy mess. Now I didn't smoke this fish. Some people smoke their own fish and all that stuff. I'm not at that level. Take a slightly larger bowl than the bowl you're going to present it in and put your smoked fish into that bowl. You're gonna put about that much mayonnaise in. You're going to put capers in. Uh, about two forkfuls. You're going to roll your lemon and cut it and squeeze it over a sieve. Then you're going to take your fork and you're just going to mash those ingredients together. Then you're going to crack a little pepper in there. A little cut up celery can add crunch. Today I'm not doing that, but I've done it with celery many times and it's, it's great. It just adds a little crunch to it. All right, then you take a kind of a nicer bowl. It'll be a smaller bowl. And you put the fish salad into that bowl. And you kind of make it look pretty on top so it's not a smooth, gross top. You want to kind of ruck up the top a little bit like that. Smoked fish salad. It certainly isn't invalid. You can serve it with crackers or um, little pieces of toast, and it will keep in your fridge for about five days. Not shredded mess, but a chunky sort of yummy mess.